All I hear is talking, I don't sweat that. If they don't trust me, yeah, I respect that. If she need on the ride, do I bet that? Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is J.H. How y'all doing, Postal Family? Is everybody good? Is everybody cool? Everybody clean? Are you crisp? Are you feeling iry today? Let's talk. But first, in the video description, there are things that are there to help you. All these cute t-shirts, Little Things by Tina. You need a federal loan. Go check it out. Loan for feds. All that stuff in the video description. Everything in there is for you. Not for me. For you. Ready for a vacation? Go check it out. It got the stuff down there. This is basically for the new people that are new to my channel. But let's talk. Let's talk. You read the title. You like quit the union. What are you talking about, Jay? Well, before we continue... Here's the thing, I'm gonna give you five reasons on why you should stay with the union, five reasons why you should quit the union. And before anybody jumps into it and starts with that, oh, if a person quits the union, they're a scab. That's an old term, let it go. Intimidation, not cute. People don't even like in the comments about people mentioning that they wanna get out the union, they get attacked. They get attacked immediately. Because they're saying, oh, well, I'll just give my own raise. I understand it. I understand it. Mm, here's the thing. We have a day and age where we have freedom of speech, freedom of opinion. People can feel free to voice their opinion. But they shouldn't be attacked by their opinions. Or, and, and saying it as if they're less. And then somebody goes into, oh, well, if you don't this with you. The union's supposed to be about unity, right? Right. But if the individual doesn't feel as if they're representing them, you can't say, hey, I don't care what you feel, this is what you're supposed to do. You can't implement your will onto someone else and then make them feel bad. That's, that's not America. Y'all gotta get over that. But let's get into the video. Let's get into the video. The pros of staying in a union, National Association of Letter Carry Union, to be specific. Number one is job security. The union provides strong job protection through collective bargaining agreements, making it harder for management to terminate employees without just cause. It's virtually impossible to get fired when you're, when you, hey, this is the post office, man. You damn near gotta kill somebody. Mm. And they might even bring you back then. Number two, better wages and benefits. Right now, it doesn't feel that way. Doesn't feel that way at the moment. But honestly, throughout the years, there's always been a delay. So this one just seems to be a little bit longer. Union members often receive higher wages and better benefits compared to non-union workers. This is true. Representation. The union offers representation in disputes with management, ensuring your rights are protected. Pretty much what your union steward is there for is to ensure that whatever rights that they negotiated in the contract are protected. Okay, we'll, we'll go back over this in a little while. Collective bargaining. The union negotiates on behalf of all members for better working conditions, pay raises, and other benefits. That's the purpose of a union. Number five, support network. Being part of a union provides a sense of community and support from fellow workers. Now this is what a union is supposed to be. Before you guys jump down my throat, let's talk about the cons. Union dues. Membership requires paying dues which can be a financial burden for some. 
Some people are going it through it right now and they're talking about, look, I'd rather keep this $60, $70, $80 a month in my pocket because of the financial burden. I understand that. And other people should understand that as well because I'd rather feed myself than give to a union. I, that's kind of how people feel. Limited individual negotiations. Union rules may limit your ability to negotiate individually with management. Number three, I know a lot of the new people hate this one, but this is what it is. Seniority based decisions. Promotions and other decisions are often based on a seniority rather than merit. I don't think I need to elaborate on that anymore. Potential for conflict. This is number four. Being in a union can sometimes create tension between employees and management. Also, employee to employee. It just happens. We see it every day. Union politics. We just saw this last week, two weeks ago. Internal union politics can be frustrating and may not always align with your personal views. Your personal views. I did notice that there are a lot of other creators that are mentioning in their video who they personally feel as if is going to be the right person for president of the union. They also make mentions of who they feel like is going to be the best person for president of the United States. You have to also remember, if you're in a union and you go and you say, hey, I support this president or this president, it's going to turn people away from you. That's why I don't speak about politics on here. Because if I say, hey, you know, all for Trump, let's Trump, Trump, Trump. I've, I've, I've basically segregated half of the audience. They're not going to agree with my personal views at that point. If I say Biden, 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 they're not going to agree with the other half. So I keep politics out of it. And unfortunately, at this point, I know for a fact APWU mentioned certain things. I know that ADA arbitration, they mentioned some things. And the key is, is that when it comes to unions, typically they support a democratic president and do you believe that there's only democrats that are in the union no there isn't so then you have people that are hesitant or feel iffy when they join or they put their money in the place it's it's not healthy and this is reality it's not healthy and it is reality but again if you choose not to be part of the union you have to understand that's your personal decision, and it may not be a favorable one amongst your peers, but at the end of the day, it's about what works best for you. Because when you see comments, and I've, I'm reading them and I stay out of them, I comment thumbs up to all of them. When you see people say, I'm going to hold my dues, and then you have somebody else jump down their throat, well, this person's individual issues, and that's how he feels. Where is the unity when it comes down to fighting for everybody's rights? You can't just pick on one person because they said, hey, screw this. I'm not, I'm not giving my dues anymore. But if everybody were unified, they would say, man, screw the person on top that is creating this tension. That's creating the reason that this person doesn't want to pay dues. If we all unify, maybe we can get the person up top out maybe we can get the delegates that keeping this person up top out and then we'd all be on a unified front we would all agree that the union as a whole is a great thing we will all agree that our union local presidents are a great thing that our local shop stewards are a great thing i don't want to feel as if i'm giving money and my money is not being utilized in the right way and then somebody says, hey, well, these are the things that are going on that you don't see. Great. Show me. I don't want to blindly give my money because not everybody is involved in the union deeply. 
And then we have the combat to that and say, well, that's their fault. They should be involved. Then I turn and I combat that and say, make it more welcoming for everybody. This is not my time anymore. This is the new generation's time. And that's what all the people up top have to understand. This is the new generation, the new generation that is following us. They want to feel like it makes sense to go to a union meeting. I said this in one of my other videos. It has to make sense to them to want to take an hour, two hours out of their day, not to go and listen to people up top, speak about things that they have no idea. It has to make sense to other people. So you can't blame the new people that come in if they don't want to be a part of it. I think they all should be a part of it. But what I think and what the people in the union halls do are two different things. So when I put this message here out to everyone, this is for both sides, the ones that want to take their money out and the ones that want to make sure that the union keeps going. Hey, two thumbs up. Let's keep it ro Let's keep it rolling. But you cannot be upset when somebody says, hey, man, I just want to keep my money to myself because I don't feel as if the union is representing me. You can't be upset with them. But then in retrospect, non-union payers, you can't be upset to the one to, 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 to those that don't show up. You can't be upset if you're not involved and don't educate yourself behind all of the backstories of what goes on behind the scenes in the union. So your dues just don't go to somebody sitting there. They go to lawyers that take care of things. They go to car rides. They go for rental properties. They go for the actual hall itself. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes, but it's up to you to educate yourself so you could see where your union dues go. If any of this made sense, this was a real straight down the middle fair assessment of pros and cons. Now it's just a matter of everybody simply coming together and saying, okay, well, we got to make this happen. Because reality is, is that this is one of the only places that I've seen that people are so aggravated that they want to withdraw their money. I mean, my dad was part of the Teamsters. He was throwing, take my money. And when I was a chef, at a never mind, but I had been part of the Teamsters at one time as well. So I know how strong unions can be, but it's just a matter of expressing that the right way to the newer generation so that they can understand and realize what the benefits are and not just explain it. Do it. Do it. Read the comments. People are so frustrated with their locals. They're frustrated with their own shop stewards. People can't be upset when they say, man, I'm only judging this off of my shop steward. Well, union leaders, if your shop stewards that you have are the face of you and they are not easily digestible, then switch them out. Switch them out. I know that there's a lot of stations around this country where people don't know who their shop stewards are. People don't have a shop steward at their station. And then when somebody gets in trouble, they're saying, well, if the union's supposed to be here and get me paid, well, we don't have a contract. Shit. Well, if the union's supposed to be there to help me against management, but I'm always getting ridden up and nobody's here to help me. Shit. So if the pros outweigh the con outweigh the positive, I mean, if the cons outweigh the pros, then what's the purpose? It's up to the union leaders up top to make this taste good to the palate. Make it extremely yummy for the tummy. <laughs> I had to throw that in there. Make it make sense. This new generation just ain't gonna take this guy's word and say, be part of the goddamn union. Go to your union meetings. Me and Nick were chatting the other day. Nick said, they gotta make this so that I wanna go. They got to make it so I want to go. And I understand it. I understand it. Nick's, I believe, under, under 30. It makes sense. It makes sense. Let's talk to my daughter. I don't, I don't go. I don't go. Are you paying? Yeah, you're just giving money to people you don't know. It has to make sense. Union leaders need to step up. 
Shop stewards need to step up. Those that are pro-union and you ride or die and you talk to the other ones that are saying they want to get out the union, make it make sense. Don't bash them. Encourage them. Say, listen, man, I don't know where you're located in this country, but I understand your frustration. Tell me what's going on. Don't be the negative Nancys. I've been using that a lot lately, negative Nancys. But don't be the negative Nancys. Be the positive Pete's. Get it? And, and negative Nancy and positive Pete. Anyway, be somebody that's encouraging so people want to participate versus being that, mm, you better do this. They're tired of it. We can't fight that no more. The new generation sick and tired of being sick and tired. Yes, they feel like they want handouts for a lot of damn things. But if that's the future, hand them something so that they can be as productive as those before them. There's a big debate. A few people in my comments saying that we should go on strike. And I'm like, shit, I don't even want to touch this. Well, we can't strike. We should strike. We can't strike. We should strike. Well, the people in the 70s were not supposed to strike. And I said this in my comment. They were not supposed to strike, but they were strong. They said, screw it. I'm going to go do it. Today, people say, man, I'm going to strike. There's nobody that's going to follow nobody to do anything. They're not going to stand together. There's no unity. There's a bunch of keyboard warriors. So where's the unity? This is just some food for thought. The pros, the cons. Y'all let me know what you think. Don't attack Jay. I gave it right down the middle. And I'm out. Unexpected expenses stressing you out? Get the money you need now with Loans for Feds, a program designed specifically for federal employees. Bad credit is not a problem. Application is fast and easy with same-day approvals. Apply now.